Hello and welcome to another Wine Word Italy review. Today I'm going to be looking at the last of the art wines sent to me by uh, Paolo Carlo Ghislandi at Cascina i Carpini in the Colli Tortonesi. It is no less than their Bruma d'Autunno, a VQPRD Colli Tortonesi DOC Barbera Superiore in this case a 2006 and the translation of the name um, Bruma d'Autunno is Autumn Mist. Now whilst that might be a very beautiful scenic addition to the autumn in uh, the Colli Tortonesi around my part of the world here in the Bassa Ferrarese, the Padana Plain uh, it causes no end of problems when we have to drive to and from work uh, you can't see a hand in front of your face. But uh, the image is there, connecting the art and the wine, rather beautiful, the mix of colours. Suggestion is valleys filled with mist and green hills sticking out. Very, very uh, tranquil looking scene. So, let's get it open while we think about what it is. It's 100% Barbera, um, which is uh, fermented in stainless steel and then it is aged for uh, 14 months in French oak casks and then it is further bottle aged for about 12 months beyond that so uh, it's uh, not a quick fix this wine. Okay, so let's get this one open. 2006 about the colour. Okay, light behind it there, I hope you can see it as well as I can. Rather a pleasant sunny day but a very cold wind blowing which is why I'm in the relative shelter of the front of my barn. Okay, it's a well, it's a fairly ruby red but not so dense and there's certain garnet hints in there a sort of uh, maturing colour coming there and the, the alcohol arcing nicely up the glass there too so um, what does it come in at 13 and a half not lightweight but not as heavy as some um, particularly those Spanish wines I tried recently but anyway I've got a nice scent as I open the bottle let's uh, get the nose in and see what it's all about Oh, a clean and pleasant smell. First things I've got there are cherry and the smell you get in autumn when you're walking in the woods. That kind of forest floor smell. It's a really mature, rich, delightful smell. And some warm, sweet spices coming up there too. What have we got? Vanilla, of course, and something else there, not nutmeg. Oh, what's the name? Mace. It's a lighter, sweeter kind of smell. That's the, the covering on the nutmeg, the very, very fine bands you get on a whole nutmeg. If you grate that up, um, you've got this rather slightly sweeter spice. That's the kind of smell I'm getting there. Oh, yes, that takes me back. Goodness me. All right, let's get a taste going. Chin chin. Mm. Oh, wow. Fruitier than I expected. I'd have to say the, the nose suggested a cherry, but my goodness, we've got plums. Homemade fruit cake. Really rich, full flavour there. It's rounded. It's got a good body. The tannins are there, the wood's done its work, but not overpowering. Nicely balanced with the alcohol, which is not too strong. Very pleasant indeed. I'd like that alongside something like braised meat, I would say, or, or roast beef, why not? Um, some mushroom stew, if you're... Uh, not so keen on meat, would go nicely. 
or a hard cheese. And if you prefer your pasta dishes, well, uh, some kind of baked pasta with ragu might be a very, very, very pleasant accompaniment to this drink. So, thanks once again to Paolo Carlo. I will get to meet you eventually. In the meantime, there it is. Another art wine from Cascina i Carpini in the Colli Tortonesi. It's the Bruma d'Autunno. Colli Tortonesi Barbera Superiore 2006. And this one is 1,114 out of a total production in that year of 2,764. So, not as common uh, as many wines you might find in your supermarket. But uh, if you can get it, give it a try. Simply splendid. Chin chin, and I'll see you very soon on Wine Word Italy. Bye bye.